give me this hill, this country that God promised me. Caleb asked Joshua what he wanted to take this world. Give me this hill country that God had promised me before. You know, all right, I, I want to tell you in the Caleb a little bit later. Everybody wants to joyous life, happy life. I want. I want to live in happy life every day. And uh, good things to happen in every day. But listen, my friend, but it cannot happen in reality. Human life is, is often described as the sea of troubles. Indeed, we sometimes encounter difficulty problem and suffering, the hardship we don't want to take when we live in this world, crazy world. In the course of the, our lives, there are many, many problems we have face our enemy that going to hurt us, attacking to the Christian. As a Christian, yeah, you and me, we can overcome any problem or troubles we are taking in our lives. We the face God gave to him. No matter what they are No problem to us. Even if there is a problem, storm against us like a high wave whirling around us. But don't be fear. Don't be afraid of this storm. Constantly coming to our lives. Because we, we've got the victory by Jesus Christ. We are not victim. We are you and me, the victor in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Give me glory, my friend. Let us not hide from our enemy that going to attack. No, we have to fight.
against our enemy. With the confidence of our faith, we are given by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray you will live victoriously by the conquering all problems we beat. And we will be living victorious life in our Lord Jesus Christ in our life. Hallelujah. God is always with his people. Hmm? People of the faith achieving his wonderful ways using them and God is working with them who had a strong faith for the glory of the work. All right. We can find the many examples in the 66 book of Bible that God was working with his people of faith. Here is the one of men that I'm going to tell you this man Caleb that you will be is strong of your face when you hear his story I'm going to tell you now. Caleb was a man of the faith. <clears throat> he was faithful to God. Even though ten of the spy Ten of the spies, yeah, made a bad report to the Congress of Israel. It was a negative report. People of Israel had heard that it, ten of original spies had reported that they had been exploded with the Caleb and the Yorza. People of Israel were afraid. Listen, what Caleb said to the people of Israel who were trembling and afraid of that news they had heard. He said, if Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land. The land flowing milk and honey will give it to us. 
Do not be afraid. Their protection, which is their God, fled. Their protection is gone. Because we we swallow up. <laughs> That's what Caleb said. We will beat them. We will swallow. Oh, I like it. I like this word. Hmm? We, you and me, we will swallow up our enemy who hurt you, hurt me every day by power of Jesus Christ. That God is with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm? Lord is with us. Lord is with you. Do not be afraid. We do not afraid. Caleb said. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay. You know, when Joseph, I and mean not Joseph, Joshua gave Caleb his inheritance, which is God promised to Caleb, it fulfilled a promise God had made to Caleb. Forty-five years Earlier, hmm? the Caleb remember that God's promise when Caleb had gone to explore the land. God promised to giving his descendants when Moses ordered to search that land. So 12 spies went there, that land. God said to Moses, listen, my friend, Caleb, Caleb's spirit is different to the other people. He followed my instruction all the time. So I will give this land. He went to, and I will give you this land as in. Inheritance to their descendants. Now, listen, brother and sister. 45 years later, Caleb currently 85 years. I told you. First time, the word, the beginning of my sermon, give me this land that God had promised me. Caleb asked the Joshua and claiming the the, the things God had promised to Caleb through the Moses, it was fulfilled when 
Joshua divide the land, all the tribe, to giving Caleb the land was Hebron. Hebron. Hebron was, uh, you know, uh, is uh, the capital city of David who became in the rule of Judah for seven years, you know. All right, we must uh, please God. Caleb said, if God pleased us. He will give us this land. He had promised me. Still, is is claiming to Joshua. This time, in the what is. Amorites and the Canaanites were occupied that land. Even they were strong, their city was fortified, that people were afraid and gave negative reports to the children of Israel. But Caleb, Joshua said, if God help us, we will take that, that land which God promised us to conquer the land. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Amen. We have to Free the Lord uh, and keep on faithful to God. Remain our faith to the Lord. Then Lord will take care of you. Take care of us throughout our lives. Caleb was uh, you know, same when he was 40 years old, when he was 85 years old. He lived as a faithful servant to the Lord. So God pulled out his grace on him. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. What about the Moses? Moses, he, he led, you know, three million people of Israel to the you know, you know, in, 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 in the door of Canaan. Patiently putting up with you know, them even when they complained and, uh, and grumbled against him since it was a task that God had given to Moses. He read the people of Israel entrance of the Canaanite. Enduring 
all problems. You know the what Moje had been doing with the people and the reading in through the desert hardship and pain. What, what I'm saying, Caleb, Moje, I took a good example of a faithful person who endured all hardship and the problem in their life. What God hate and detests the most is our complaint. Don't, 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 don't complain. Thank, just always thanks to the Lord. Even you got the Big problem you cannot solve, difficulty, hardship, in pain, no matter what storm going through the, your life, don't be afraid. Only look up to Jesus Christ who is going to help you, lead you in the safety harbor where your destination so, you know, God blesses the faithful person. Paul said in his letter, uh, 1 Corinthians 4, chapter 2, now, it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful. How do we live faithful to the Lord? when we live here. We must keep the word of God. The word of God is the principle and the guide of our life. Oh. Hmm? The principle our, our life should be based on the word of God. Caleb marched forward for 45 years, holding on the promise of God. My brother and sister, I want you to hold on the promise of God to, to where God wants you to go. I want you holding of the God. Whatever you got the problem you have going through. I want you to hold up Holy Spirit that is going to help you. I want you to keep the word of God that is helping you, guide you 
to do your destination. God wants to go to be. I want you to be guided by the world. There is a, the world. I want to tell you, as a conclusion to this message, Numbers 14, chapter 24. Listen. Uh, praising Caleb. Oh. But because my servant Caleb has a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him the land he went to. I've told you before. And his descendant will inherit it. We must have a holy dream. I said holy dream. We must have a holy dream in our load. Our dreams should not be focused on and centered on the human Propose you want to take for yourself, for your benefit, or our goals you want to get, but centered on the holiness of God, God is going to give you holy dreams. When we hold on the Holy dream. God will bless you. Like Caleb. Caleb, currently 85 years old, he said, listen, he said, he was strong, he was as strong and he was 45 years old. Same thing. I want to be like uh, Caleb. He is uh, 15 years more older than me. Hmm? But when I shall be 85 years old, I, I, I want, I would to be strong as a Caleb, 85 years old. I want you to. <laughs> when we have holy dreams in our heart, we, we, we go beyond age barrier. Age doesn't matter. As long as we got the holy that God gave us. We go beyond the time, the space. It doesn't matter. It's not our barrier. The dream coming from God leads us Beyond any limit, any limit, we can lift up this limit. God is unlimited. Caleb holding on to the holy dreams, conquered the hill country God had promised, or this promise. Did this promise, can you, can you keep 45 years promise to your friend, to other people? God, God did to Caleb. Mm. Yes. 
the cold, your brother and sister. Our God, our God is going to help you, going to, going to bless you. If you hold the promise of the God, even God promised that one, two thousand years, the promised God will keep this promise that we see. We are looking forward to this promise on this day. Thank you, Lord. I want you. I want you. You hold it on the promise. I don't know what promise you have by the Lord. But whatever you have this promise, holding on, do not fail. Do not give up like a Caleb. One day, God will keep and show this promise you will realize. God performed this promise for you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, I like this, this guy. I want to be like this, this guy. Thank you, Lord. Keep, keep walking by faith, not by sight. Bye-bye. Hallelujah.